What's up? It's your boy Carcino once again. And let's talk about it. Now, I don't want people to think this is a Jay-Z diss video. It's not. I just had I just don't agree with um uh, where he think we should have gone to get even. Like this is the level to getting back even. Now, Jay-Z stated this 20 years ago. So when he was talking about rap. I mean, sports and entertainment as a means of getting back even from what we've been stolen from us and everything else. All we got right now is sports and entertainment until we get back even on a playing field, which is saying like, okay, now we get all this money from sports and entertainment. Now we can start to make changes. I disagree with that. That's all I'm saying. And here's the reason why. How long? How long have we been entertainers? How how long have we been in sports? How long have we dominated sports? How long have we dominated entertainment? And we're still in the same boat we were back in the day. Nothing's changing the conditions and the areas in which we grew up when you're saying 80% plus plural of the athletes that come of our color in the NBA come from poverty stricken environments. Now almost 90% of the rappers and entertainers and all of these guys that are in the game now came from poor environments. So they come from poverty stricken areas. Why the communities are the same or worse than what they were when they started. So obvious sports and entertainment is not going to change the outlook or the conditions for us as a people. What it does is it helps elevate you and your group that you have into power and then their families or whatever and that's good for them but when you try to talk about the masses and the landscape what are you really changing what is the strategy about going about that and economics is how you change it It's not about an athlete giving some money back to the hood. That's so small compared to the bigger picture. I would rather an athlete or not an athlete but or entertainer. I would rather an engineer came back and taught for free and taught these young kids the trade of how to become engineers. I would rather a math genius sit, come back to the neighborhood, teach these kids mathematics. Teach them something that's going to change the economics of their condition. Now, I'm not saying Jay-Z thinks like that today. He's uh, probably 20 times more smarter than he was 20 years ago. And if he hadn't, I would be ashamed. If you're thinking the same way you were thinking 20 years ago, you have not progressed at all. Now, the economics is these engineering jobs, and I'm not looking at a commercial which they stole from internet and then put it out there. You have to be willing to change the conditions of your environment but you're gonna have to do it economically. We're, this is the largest gap between white, Caucasian, and people of color and employment for the same jobs in this country's history. For the same job, the pay disparity is the highest it's ever been. Why is this happening? Sports and entertainment are a distraction from real life issues. 
People want to get away from things, they go watch the movie. When you don't want to be worried about your job and you're stressed out, you're aggravated, you're released, hey, the game is on. I get to relax, watch the game. So all of this is escapism. It's not what's really going on in this world or that matters or just changing the world. And a lot of us depend on an athlete or entertainer to be the face of it, to say, yeah, there it is. See, he's great in that movie and he's great right now. And his charity foundation, not saying that they don't do anything. It's just that is what they're going to do really monumental to the change and the conditions that's happening in the world. And most of the guys that we look at and we assume that they're a certain way because of the way they play or the way they act, we assume that that's their personality and they want to change people. I'm like, just because he saved somebody in the movie don't mean he's he might not be all for self in real life. And he's like, look, I'm looking for me and my family. Nobody was there for me. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, and that's fine. That's it. You want to do your thing? That's cool. But I would be a fool if I didn't try to change the economic conditions around me, if there was something I could teach to a certain individual that would help them, yes, I would give somebody that knowledge. But you can't do it individually. It has to be a collective effect. People have to unite and collectively do these things here. And I wanted to see these things implemented more in the neighborhoods. Tupac Shakur planned this. He wanted to be a bridge between having people sponsor these events with the communities and talk to the gangs and make sure they had these, not just the concerts, that's just a distraction, but it's just to, to draw the youth in and start to teach the youth, have other people come there, like speakers, like the Michael Eric Dysons and people, have them come in and talk to the children. They'll listen because Tupac's there. They'll listen because, you know, your favorite rapper is there right now. Have some charity basketball events. You know, things that are giving back to the community, where the money goes back to the community, plus these people recognize what you, they're able to talk to you, touch you, and things of this nature. Is bringing people back together, community. One thing about the black family, out of any other race in the world, we're the most divided. Everything out here pushes for us to be divided, not together, divided. They don't do it to the Hispanics. They don't do it to the Japanese. They don't do it to the Chinese. They definitely don't do it with the Caucasians. But for us, we got to be divided. Got to push the moral conflict between each other. As if it never happens with anyone else on the planet except for us. So, I disagree with the sports and entertainment comment that he made. That's all. That was 20-some years ago. He probably don't even think that way. But that's the way I feel. I'm out.